And hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. There's been an update to the, uh, Dinos and Dodos data pack. Oh yeah! Um, uh, I'm not gonna be going over what all those changes are today. However, I will tell you guys one simple thing that has changed. Saplings, they no longer fall to the ground. And... You don't have to spam them no more. So be sure to drop by the Cursed Forge and pick up the latest version so your saplings are not growing a forest on their own. If you want them to grow a forest on their own, well, use the version v version 3 if you please. But uh, <laughs> if you want to be able to control your sapling growth, I suggest you go pick up the version 4 today and I'll pick up, I'll pick up on uh, what has changed on that all the changes and everything on that on Monday of next week. Now, what is that behind me, you guys are probably wondering. Well, guys, I went on today and I broke in all of these horses and I kind of started to record it and then I accidentally pressed the wrong button while getting while pausing and I deleted all that footage. Yeah. Um, I hit control L Instead of hitting control L, I accidentally hit that delete button and, um, well, that deletes all the footage. And I was just like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I had to start all over. That's perfectly okay. So let's just bring you guys over there, bring you guys up to speed as to what just happened. So, well, you guys know what just happened. Um, we're building a barn for all the horses. We broke them all in and we... We're in here. I was placing all this. I went to unpause it to bring you guys in and say, okay, so this is what we did so far. We're trying to work out a peak for this place now. And I think it looks averagely pretty good. Now, I've got dirt blocks inside of here. And what I want to do is I need to get a pair of shears. And I need to come through here and do the same exact thing that I did over in the snow biome. I need to add some leaves inside of here to limit the spawning abilities of anything so that I can limit the lighting levels. To do that, I need to run all the way back over there. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I need to run all the way back over there and grab myself a pair of shears because I don't have any iron over here with me like a derp. Um, I did make up a lot of clay. I mean, not clay. Um, what do you call this? Concrete. I did make up a lot of that. It's however, it's in a powdered form. And I'm looking at cub fans or somebody's concept for an automatic, uh, just a way to uh, convert it all. Woo. Yeah. It looks like we got some uh, sand we got to recover and some caves we got to uh, clean up. Might be some gravel down there too. But we got some sand we got to recover so that we can bring it up here. No, we don't have sand we have to recover, dang it. We can make sand out of cobblestone. That's just a joke. <laughs> and how you make sand out of cobblestone, if you guys do not remember, is you take it and you put it through the uh, crusher over here. Take a piece of cobblestone, shove it through the grinder, and it gives you cobblestone. I mean, it gives you a, well, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, this thing seems to be doing quite fine over here. It's giving us wheat. It's giving us beets. Lots of stuff and things. Our piggies, our animals. Oh, my goodness. Wow. These guys, their pens are getting full. <laughs> we can officially switch over from pumpkin pie to beef. We got our choice of beef, pork, or mutton. We can have gyros, we can have bacon, or we could have steak. We just need onions and green, we just need onions. We do have potatoes in the game. We just need fried onions and we need steak sauce. We need A1 steak sauce, guys. We need A1. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and shove this thing away and I think I'm gonna start to enjoy me some pork chops. <laughs> Those guys are a bit noisy over here. What the heck? What did I just say I was coming over here for? Um, I know I'll take these things with me, but uh, shut up, guys. All right. Yeah, seriously? All right, let's see here. Music and sounds, friendly creatures. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, thank you. It's not that you guys aren't okay, but you just, you're just too darn no noisy. Too noisy. 
too noisy, and I really do not like the new cobblestone texture. Um, oak fencing, we needed shears. That's what we came over here for. And I'm not seeing anything. All right, that's okay. That's okay. And I found an easier way of getting that Azor Bluette. I mean, yeah, I use Azor Bluettes for getting the gray dye, the light gray dye, guys. And it works out very, very nicely. I got a pair of shears right here in my pocket. For goodness sakes. That's okay. Let's we'll take a stack of iron over there with us. It should keep us going for a bit. But, uh, yeah, this has been fixed. I'll show you guys that. Give me a... Uh, Diamond axe, and when we go over there, we'll fix that thing up. We'll chop down that little oak tree over there, and we'll whack all the leaves out of it. Because we're going to use those inside that barn. What I want to do is I want to integrate. You see how we got the uh, jungle trees over here? I want to integrate the two biomes of jungle and plains into one biome. And I want my horses to be like kind of in the area. Now, there isn't a lot of clay between these two biomes. So I don't want to use much in a way of any clay in his build over here. Okay, because we're converting. We're, we're basically, we're building these two biomes together. Okay, and... I'm still debating on this, guys. We got this. We see where our boat is, all right? We got this nice, huge, clear path that goes across that, okay? And all that kelp out there in the ocean. And lots of squid, too. Hmm. Anchovies, anyone? Um, anchovies. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right. This right here, we're definitely going to build a tower of some sort here. I made up my mind on that one. I was thinking we could build a bridge going across from it, and I decided against it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to build that bridge. It's going to come across. It's going to level up. It's going to gradually come up, and I'm going to bring it over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it as a diagonal the best as I can over towards that region over there all right what i wanted to do is basically this little island right here we're going to either eliminate it or we're going to expand out to it and we're going to build our bridge going over to it now this is going to be an over the water bridge so there's going to be a lot of water and stuff and things there we already get ourselves plenty of uh other stuff and things. Ooh, there's some clay out here, too. Um, but we're going to leave that clay here. There should be a structure underneath the water around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. And we get drowned over here. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> it's a baby zombie. <laughs> it's a baby drowned. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> That was funny. All right, let's go. <laughs> Baby drowned. Can't do that. Can't, can't go without that. That was funny. <laughs> Anyways, let's go finish up this barn here for today, guys. And get some, you know, get some stuff going on with it. It's, I think it's going to be fun. One of the things I actually want to add out here in the middle of the ocean somewhere, guys, is an oil well. Okay? Like an oil refinery. Um... We don't have build craft because the mod is needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. Um, I'm thinking I want to add fence gates, kind of like I did before. Um, we definitely need these leaves, and I said I would chop us down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So to show you guys this first tree. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right. Come on. Just show me one sapling and give me these. Come on, give me one sapling just to show because there we go. They do not automatically replant themselves. I'm going to go ahead and just shear the rest of this so that I could use these leaves inside that barn over there. Like so. Um... Right side up, upside down. No, right side up, upside down. Right side up, upside down. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> I 
I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. That, that was funny. Um, right side up, upside down. <laughs> so I'm going to take this stuff. We're going to scatter it on the inside, just in the floor a little bit in places. Like what I want to do is basically where I got the regular grass at inside of here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit right here. Maybe bring us over here like so. Oops. Forgot that was like that. All right. Well, we could go ahead and lose some there. Um, yeah, I got a little bit of a hole underneath here, but it's kind of filled in. I mean, nothing to worry about too much. And we don't have to worry about keeping our horses warm, unlike our donkey. And I am starting to miss that little guy. You know, we, we should go back and take say hi to him sometime. You know, guys, he's probably missing us. You know, we've been chilling over here for so long. He probably misses us so bad. He's probably over there freezing his little butt off. He ran out of... He ran out of fuel to keep himself warm. And we're just over here doing our thing. And he's just like, the master forgot me. Nobody, we didn't forget you. We just, well, lost track of time. Having all this fun over here. You know, guys, it's a lot of fun. But we did kind of forget about our buddy. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. He probably thinks that we abandoned him. So we're going to have to swing by our base sometime back in the snow biome and maybe pick him up. I love how all, all these horses, they find their way over towards us. I love how they do that. I do got to go fishing for some saddles for you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't have any. I don't even have a portal that leads home. Um, what, all right. So let me go ahead. Let's get ourselves a little bit of work up down on this, guys. And I'll cut back and I'll show you guys what I got done. All right. You guys clearly see I really haven't done much already. But I want to show you guys what I'm planning on doing. Okay. So what I want to do with this is I want to do kind of a uh, vanilla. Like a vanilla and cherry. A vanilla and cherry. So we might be using some jungle wood with this. Um, I want to use like a vanilla and cherry to accent this area because of the... Well, just because. You know, I think a vanilla and cherry wood would accent this place really nice. So I'm actually just going to come across this and just do one of these. There he goes. There we go, and there we go. We're just giving it a little bit of an accent, kind of like I like to do to my foundations. Um, the reason um, I can't think, I couldn't think of much of a block to use for this, so I kind of wanted to go back and use something that we haven't used in a long time. So I used the, um, so I used stone. I'm not too sure on it. I might use, switch it out for granite. Because I think granite might actually look better. I'm looking for a data pack that has stairs and slabs out of granite and andesite and all that stuff. Not too shabby, not too bad. Just something to uh, kind of accent it off just a little bit. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right, this one. No, 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 no. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah, we could do that. We can bring this thing across, but it's going to go up, okay? From right there, I want it to go up, so let's see here. All right, we're going to do one of these. Should it go like that, though? No, it shouldn't. It should be more or less with this block on top of it so let's bring this over there on top of that now remember we're going to be using some cherry in with this too so all right now let's try this yeah something like that that should work out nicely all right put another piece in there and ooh, can we get this other piece up there 
All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Bingo. How's that look? I don't look half bad. Um, because the roof, I'm going to angle it. I think it looks good. And now if I can mirror this on this side, that side should look okay. Now we still got to bring over some cherry wood to mix with it and maybe choose a type of glass. Um, one thing I'm that what I'm thinking of doing for, no, we don't need glass. Okay. The reason we don't need glass is because this is what I was thinking. All right. This is what I was thinking for the cherry guys is using this is we take these things and we use them for the walls like that. So you can see through it and it looks like it's like a vertical slab at the same time. It gives it a little bit of a difference. You know, it separates it, but at the same time, it looks good. All right, so we're going to use this design on either side, on both sides of this to be precise. And we're going to use a cherry roof, but we're going to break this off into a cherry roof on this at some point. Um, let me do some more work on this, guys, and I'll cut back and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, um, I did some work on this. I'm not too sure about the exterior on the left side of it. Yeah. Um, not too sure about this portion right here on the back on the sides. Um, I might change it out. I might actually add some windows in there. I'm thinking I might switch it out as some green stained glass in there or something. Um, trying to add a little bit of definition to that right now. Um, this is what we got. It looks good from the inside pretty much. Pretty much. All right. I decided to separate this up into like three stalls. Well, we have four stalls pretty much. Six if you want to count all of this. But back here, I actually want to add a little bit of storage that goes upstairs so I added some posts in here. Um, I'm not too sure about this jungle wood like this though. It just, it looks like it'll go better with granite. Really? It does. It looks like it would go better with granite. I'll st stick with it just for the time being, but I'm unsure about it. <laughs> And that's the honest goodness truth. I am totally unsure about using it. Mostly because it just sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, this stuff right here. It, I'm not too keen on using it. It just don't look right. It looks icky to me. All right. It looks like it screams, I need moss. I mean, because you can really see the moss in that. I get it that it's from the jungle. But you can really see the moss in that. And I was getting started on working on a roof design. I was thinking, okay, you know, maybe we could just work with it. And see what we can come up with. Because I'm looking at like, I'm, what I'm looking for is like a birch and vanilla design um like a vanilla bean is what i'm thinking of a vanilla bean and cherry design and the only cherry design i can think of really is to bring this out kind of like this i don't want to use stairs right here because it just i know something's going to be able to spawn up there I know something will be able to. I'm not too worried about it. I can deal with it later. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm tempted. I am so tempted to just build this roof out of this stuff right here. Um, just to come across it and just say, you know what? Um, hello. <laughs> I am tempted to just do this. 
Just build the roof out of this and then add the slabs and then come across and add a little bit more of this and some of that. I mean, I don't know. It, it's not it's not coming out the way I envisioned it to. It, it's just coming out a little bit different. And I'm not too crazy about the way this roof design is coming out. I mean, not the roof design, but... I was hoping this would come up a little bit higher. You know what I mean? Just a wee bit higher. So, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at it and I'm like, all right. Um, what can I do to make this look like a cherry design? And, you know, to really make it pop without making it look too bad I mean I guess it's the new textures that's throwing me off because I'm not used to using them but at the same time the new textures they are they are a bit different okay they are a bit different um, do I have a pair of shears on me no all right fine let's just knock these things out and let's see here Just get some of this roof in here. I, I am very iffy about this. Um, I'm very picky about the blocks that I use when I build. Because if it doesn't blend and it don't look right, I'll rip it down. And <laughs> I mean, I'm very, that's, that's just me. If it don't blend, I will rip it down. Um... And so far, I'm, as I'm building this, I'm looking at it, and it's just, it's just not blending the way I envisioned it to. Because I want this roof to go up, and then I want it to curve. And I'm not seeing that happen, because I wanted to add a vent coming across here with, on both sides, you know, using some iron bars. So, I'd have to come up here and do one of these. Come off to the side here, do one of them, and then I gotta literally, wow, hopefully I don't fly off the edge here. You know what, I, why am I flying off the edge? Yeah, okay. And, yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is adding some vents up here. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a moment. Let's just get this up here. All right. And we'll put this in like right here. All right. So for where this comes together right here, um, not jungle wood, some oak wood. Um, I want to bring this up like this. And maybe come across this with something a bit different all right like we got four cobblestone walls here right so we would just come right across this maybe with four cobblestone walls that's a little bit of an air vent okay because we gotta have horses in here we want to be able to vent the place out you don't want it to smell all the time you don't want your visitors to come over here and be like hey dude your barn stinks uh, you know you want to be able to vent the place out so I was thinking either cobblestone fences or, yeah, I was thinking either cobblestone fences or something that I just can't put my finger on what it should be. Perhaps you guys could help me out with that. Hmm. Not sure. Really not sure. I mean, the roof looks okay. It definitely needs an accent block, though. I'm not going to use birch stairs as an accent. I don't want to accent it with stone. Um, if I had quartz, now that would accent it nicely. You know what? Just use this. It's got fortune on it. All right. And let's stand back. Let's look at this. All right, um, let's say we put this here, and then we, all right, let's, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, eh, 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 
All right, and eh. Um, I think we just put the wrong block there. Yes, we did. Okay. Yep. Stone brick might accent this a lot better than what we currently have. Um, I mean, that's about the only other block I could see accent in this. I mean, we can have this thing come up. We'll give it its peak. Um, up there will be our attic for it. But this right here, it has to go. It's, it's disgusting. I need to find a different block. Um, <laughs> I put it in there as a test. You know, just to see if I could cover this up over here. And then that just didn't look like it matched up on the outside. And I don't know. It just don't look right. This just looks like someone puked on a log and said, here, go, uh, go place this. I mean, it looks a little bit better in here without it, to be honest. I mean, you look over here. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. I mean, because now you can see the vanilla bean and you can see the uh, red bean, but... I don't know. Get this out of here. I think I'd rather just yoink this out and accent it with some. Give me this. That's the strip stuff. Let's put this inside of here and let's just test. You know, take a look at it from here. All right. It looks a little bit better. How does it look from the outside on this side? All right. It still needs an accent block. Some stone brick might break it up a little bit better. Some stone brick might break it up. Hmm. Might be exactly what it needs is some stone brick. I don't want to add windows into it because windows and a horse stall. Well, do we got any oak on us? Yes. Let's see here. What can we do? One, two, three. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's open this crafting grid up and oak fence. All right. Let's try these things. All right. Let's try this. All right. So this is one stall. We'll say, all right, we want our horses to be able to breathe. So one, two, each stall is four by four. All right, so one, two, three, four. We can come up in the center of each one of them. Knock this one out, knock that one out. We can place a little bit of a, uh, oak wood fence in there you know give them a little fresh air nothing too much but something just to give them some air to breathe because the horses they need to breathe too all right they need to breathe so let's try that out let's go ahead and knock this stuff out because it just it's too much and it looks disgusting um I figure I'd bring you guys in here just for this. See what we can work out. I, I think I'm going to finish this up tomorrow. The barn. But just to work out some of the kinks with it today. And alright. Let's put this over here. And let's just try this. Alright. we I can see that we need some more. Alright. We got that knocked out into the center of this one all right and let's go do that same exact thing over here all right aim up all right and we just need some more of these all right and maybe some oak I mean, you guys are going to be, look, you guys are going to like this. Okay. You're going to like it. Yeah. That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. 
Um, perhaps some other stuff and things too. All right, let's get this oak wood, this jungle wood stuff out of my inventory just for right now. And I got an idea. All right, so. First thing I want to do, whoops. Give me some of those and I need some. No, not those. Oakwood fences. Yes. So this gives me an idea then. All right. What about doing that? And I need to figure out a way I could put planters underneath this stuff. All right, let's see here. Place this here, that there. We could use two more. Use some stone bricks to accent the roof. You know, think of those as shutters. You know, those are the uh, storm shutters, you know, to keep your horses safe in the middle of a tornado or something like that. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Because they usually buckle it up from both the inside and the outside, if I, if I remember right. Yeah. All right. So we could put those things on the inside and the outside. That would be where the shutters will be. We'll put them on the inside and the exterior to brighten that up. We can do something with the inside of this. I might bring some spruce over here to accent this up just a wee bit more. Add some slabby slab action up here to kind of indent the ceiling some. And we could do that with this side as well. But guys, I ran out of time for today's episode. Um, we'll finish this up on Monday. And I'll also take a look into the additions for the uh, other, for the uh, data pack, the updates for that on Monday as well. But I need your uh, feedback on this, guys. And let me know what you guys think. What do you think should go? I mean, should we keep this or should we revert back to what we had? Because in my opinion, those logs that we had coming across, they just, uh-uh. They just didn't look good. They just kind of like threw off the entire balance of what it looked, what it was and what it looked like. And I just didn't like it too much. But I'll wait for you guys' feedback on this one because I'm not going to be recording this again for a couple of days. So you guys go ahead, leave me some feedback. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Check you later. Bye-bye.